Greenhouses are often used in colder climates to start plants or just keep them alive during the winter time. And this experiment allows us to investigate that phenomenon. And we do this by setting up an experiment where we have a control, which in this case is just a glass with some dirt in the bottom, and our temperature sensor. And it has nothing covering it. And then our greenhouse is just the same as this, only it has some plastic wrap on it. Um, and if you'll notice here, I've already connected these temperature sensors to my iPad and we're getting a reading they're about the same and in fact I can if I come down here and touch the base of this one you'll see that it's that lower uh, temperature so it's going up when I touch that so for the experiment what was done is the greenhouse and the control were placed under the light like this and um, the data were collected for uh, Two trials. There was a 15 minute trial and there's a 120 minute trial um, or a two hour trial. And so let's take a look at what the data looks like. And uh, so here's the data. And this upper curve is the model greenhouse. That's this one. And then the other one is the control. So we see that indeed this greenhouse ended to, uh, it was warmer uh, at the end of the collection. They started off about the same, um, but then it ended up being warmer. Now the experiment wants you to get those initial temperatures and those final temperatures. And to do this, uh, you can use the graphical analysis app. Uh, there's a couple of ways. One is just to click on the very beginning and you can get those values there. Uh, if you click on the very end, you can get the final values. Or if we get rid of that, uh, we can come down here to the graph tools. Um, oops, excuse me, go to the graph tools and do view statistics. And then we see it'll give you the minimum and the maximum for each run. Now this is the first run. Uh, for the second run, if we want to see this, I can go over here, click on this axis and do that one. Maybe I turn that one off, come here, and then if I auto scale that, uh, we see uh, the two runs. And um, so the upper run again is the, um, the model greenhouse and the lower one is the control. So this experiment allows you to use the temperature sensors to examine uh, the way a greenhouse works.